Hi guys and welcome back. Um, today we're going to be fitting the snorkel, the T7 snorkel, uh, to the Ranger. So let's get started. I'm Gemma and this is Billy. We're an ordinary couple who work ordinary jobs, but we love exploring and adventuring in our four weeks leave. Click the subscribe button to join in on our adventures. So probably first things first is we need to um, remove the wheel first. So we can remove this inner liner to get to the vent and obviously the airbox that sits at the front here to connect it all up. Okay, now that the wheel is off, now we need to get this inner, inner liner off. So for that, I need a Phillips. Okay, now we need to get up in there and get this little vent with the, the indicator out of there. That's it, and the indicator out. this um, rain around, I feel a little bit like uh, Noah, but instead of building an arc, I'm just putting a snorkel on my car. Okay. So with it, I've got some, some fitting instructions. And on the very last page, there's a bit of a template because I need to draw one little hole in here to um, to pop rivet that template in the back so I'm just cutting this little template out to fit it on there but it's probably not strictly necessary necessary to do that So I'm just stopping again, as as I did in the uh, winch video. Uh, I'll put a link up here somewhere. Um, just stopping, find my nails.
take over here. And then put on this new one from the T7. So let's go do that. There we go, quite a tight fit. Uh, so, but this plastic is quite flexible, quite rubber like, so it's not too bad. I'll take it off now and then put some silicone on there so we can, can dry up with the silicone as well. Right, while that dries, we can probably go and look at if that nail polish dried that I used as rust. So I just pop it over there and over there so the template is fixed now. And then the, you know, the, the snorkel has little toggles that sit in there, there and there and then bolt on those little holes there. We've got this gasket which is just foam with uh, sticky tape on the one side that goes on the back side of the snorkel, so between the snorkel and the car body. So we'll get that on the snorkel now. Let's go and test fit this on the, on the car now. Really careful of the airbag and the airbag electronic system over here. So this is the elbow that goes inside the defender, and then there's another one that makes this one to the snorkel itself. So, need a bit of silicone on here, fit it in there, um, and then do the other one. Get this bracket on on the inside as well. So let's do that now. Okay, so this is what happens if you, if you stop to paint your nails and have too many cups of coffee uh, while fitting the snorkel, you have to come back the next day to finish it all. Um, so I have to connect this side to the snorkel, these two together, and then this one um, into the air box to finish off. And then obviously I'm going to seal it all with some roof and gutter silicone to make sure that no water or dust can get in.
stomp on, just has to put, have to put the wheel back. Like that. Oh, I think it looks awesome. 